Hello everyone, I'm making this video to talk about three things I think Blizzard got wrong in the Warbringers episode for Sylvanas. If you want to know my thoughts about the actual burning of Teldrassil, you can watch my other video where I complained about it for about 12 minutes, but now I'm going to address a little less significant, more technical stuff. So without further delay, let's begin. First thing is the eyes of the High Elves. Why are they not glowing? If we look back at Warcraft 3, when this whole story actually happened, all of the High Elven characters had glowing eyes. I'm pretty sure Sylvanas had glowing eyes, the archers, the priests, the sorceresses, even the peasants or the workers had glowing eyes. Sylvanas's skin in Heroes of the Storm actually has glowing eyes as well. The skin that represents her High Elven ranger self. Actually, even the High Elves in the Warcraft movie have glowing eyes, so why don't these Night Elves, I mean High Elves, have glowing eyes? I think they should. So that's my issue number one. Issue number two. Why are Arthas's eyes glowing? Yeah, it's all about eyes and glowing in this video, but I think the explanation for this one is a little more obvious. It's probably the result of the fact that Blizzard decided to give all Death Knights glowing eyes from the get-go when introducing the Death Knight class as a playable class in-game in Wrath of the Lich King, but if we look at Arthas specifically in Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne, he never actually had glowing eyes until he took the crown of the Lich King and put it on his head. It was only then when his eyes started glowing. Otherwise, um, his model in-game, his portrait in-game, um, his, his depiction during the cinematics, he never had glowing eyes. Admittedly, my issue with his eyes is a little lesser than the issue with the High Elves' eyes. Oh, and speaking about the High Elven eyes, um, I should mention one notable exception, which is Varisa Windrunner. Although she's kind of an exception because her old model did have glowing eyes. Except when it got updated, they removed the glowing eyes, so I'm not quite sure what the thing is there. You can even see it in the Windrunner Sisters comic, where Varisa... I mean, Aleria actually has glowing eyes, uh, and Varisa doesn't, then I'm not so sure how seriously we should take this comic in terms of how characters look in it. So anyway, moving on to issue number three. The Horde's Catapults. The Demolishers. What is the matter with their range? Surely they could have used another device. Uh, you know, we had these gyrocopters from you know previous stages of the questline that shot Azerite-powered stuff, they could have used those. Instead, we're shooting our ordinary catapults from this distance. I actually measured it using the game's map, and the exact equivalent of the catapult shooting from the beach to the tree would be the same as shooting from where I'm standing right now, and this is the ship to Ratchet, I'm basically at Ratchet, shooting from here directly to Theramore. I can't even see it when I look that direction, but the distance from the beach to the tree is the same as the distance from this little island all the way to Theramore. And on top of all this, can I just mention briefly how easily they set this humongous tree on fire? I guess we have to assume that they're using some magical Azerite um, fuel thing, but it just looks like ordinary fire to me. So anyway, that's my issue number three. Before we end this, I actually have a bonus one for you. A fairly minor one, but there it is anyway. The flowers on the field of battle between the Scourge and the High Elves. Have a look at the scene where Arthas turns Sylvanas. He stabs her with his sword or something and turns her into a Banshee. Immediately afterwards, they go out of their way to show this small scene of the flowers withering and being torn apart. You know, as a result of the dark spell. And then, a moment later, they show the field again and all the flowers are intact. They look just as good and healthy as they did before the spell. So, either some random flowers far away withered or this is just a flop. And that is all I had for you. If there is something you caught and I missed, please let me know about it down in the comments. And if not, I'll just see you in the next one. And until then, stay tuned and be good.